Imagine a world so dystopian that wildfires and extreme droughts become the norm. Hurricanes and floods are even more common too. Millions of people displaced from their homes don't really know where to go. Diseases like malaria holding onto the poor and weak. Water scarcity doubles. We have barely enough to sustain ourselves, let alone animals and crops. But unfortunately, we don't have to imagine for long because this is set to happen in the next 20 years. Our earth is dying. We have known this for decades and we have done nothing about it. The culprit of this horrid future is climate change, which humans are responsible for because we burn a lot of fossil fuels. That fossil fuel produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide produces heat. That heat then causes an increase in global temperatures. And for us to be able to avoid the potential danger, climate scientists have set a carbon budget for the next century. For us to, to be able to understand our carbon budget, we need to look at how much fossil fuel we have currently harvested. So this amount right here, how much would it really affect our carbon budget? Well, if we burn all of it, we would release a trillion ton of carbon dioxide, meaning, meaning we'd exceed the two Celsius mark by a long shot. But that's not so bad, right? We turn our ACs a bit higher and we're just fine, right? Wrong. An increase of only two Celsius is unacceptable. It leaves us with droughts and natural disasters. We would have food shortages because of the lack of water for animals and crops. 16% of plants would go extinct. 100% of the coral reefs will be gone. We will have a decrease of seafood by 3 million tons. We would have natural disasters greater than we can imagine with hurricanes and floods, putting 40% of the Earth's populations that live at the coasts at risk of losing their homes. The new climate will also put vulnerable populations at higher risk of disease. So obviously, only two degrees does make a big difference. But surely it's in hundreds of years, right? Wrong again. This here is one year of using fossil fuel. And here is us 20 years from now. The budget is full. This was meant to last a century, but it didn't. And it will affect us here in the Middle East especially. Remember, this two Celsius is an average so it affects different parts of the world differently. And because of our geographical standpoint and our economic situation, it's going to affect us here in the Middle East even worse. We would have an increase of 10 Celsius, making the drought even stronger. The water deficit is set to at least double. The, the Middle East has been theorized that it might be entirely unlivable our economy will suffer deeply from the abandonment of fossil fuels. This is our home, and we want it to stay that way for generations to come. We need to do everything we can to protect it, not only for us, but for all future generations. So what's the plan? Well, we need to gradually reduce our emissions so that by 2038, we had cut them in half, and by 2036, 65, we had, we had reached zero emissions. Now here's the kicker. We need to then go into negative emissions, meaning we need to invent technology that sucks carbon out of the air and buries it. But the issue is, we don't even know if that technology is possible. But if we miraculously do it, we'll have a 66% chance of staying under 2 Celsius. The best odds given by climate scientists. Now you all can see how difficult it's going to be to save this planet. So everything we do counts. Now I can tell you what you can do to help. You might expect me to tell you to consume less electricity or not to use plastic. And although those, those things are really important, there are more creative initiatives that really need our support. There's a website called Treedom, uh, where a tree is planted for every donation made. There's another website where you can put in your zip code and it gives you all the eco-friendly alternatives near you, including eco-friendly power and transportation. 
And so we can all just support those initiatives or we can start them ourselves here in Saudi Arabia. So please, for our sakes and for all future generations, educate the people around you and continue all you can to save this planet. It is our home and we want it to stay that way for generations to come. Thank you.